The Prentice also Heating and Air Coaches Quarter, fueled by Donut Country and McDonald's Murfreesboro on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna, and streaming at WGNSSports.com. This portion of the Coach's Show is brought to you by Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance, TOA, the largest and most comprehensive orthopedic surgery group in Middle Tennessee. Find out more at TOA.com. Dalton's testing me this morning, Coach. You just fumbled right there. I did. I just fumbled, yeah. Uh, Matt Kreisky is our guest, the head coach of the Blackman Blaze, and uh, you're the first guy I've talked to live today, so congratulations. You get get an extra biscuit. I appreciate it. Um, You know, I guess – the other one's too good to come in here and see you today, huh? <laughs> it's got to give him a hard time. He said time. you were going to say that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I, know, we, I know y'all don't like him. so. I, yeah, well, we lost him halfway through the interview, too. So, okay. Yeah, the phone dropped that out. That was but, a good thing, then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're in rare form with yeah. it. With, all right. Uh, you didn't bring our guest, though, so I'm down on you just a little bit. I uh, know. She she's going to be come. disappointed, yeah. so I'm sorry. Take her some orange juice. I will. Uh, Matt, is uh, a big game last night, and I uh, – a 42 nothing win over Rockville. I know you're proud of the defense, and, uh, boy, they shut down the running game just pretty much. It was null and void for Rockville last night. Um, I know you got to be proud of them, and they've been kind of the stable influence all year, really. Yeah. Um, you know, they, again, they did another great job last night. Um, you know, Archie Roseman holding down the defense line. James Stewart did another – did a great, good job up front. Isaac Levy, those those guys do a, do a great job week in and week out. Uh, some linebackers, Ethan Carson, Rodney Irvin, uh, Paul Langford, great job. Secondary, Trey McGaffey, Jaden Lark had an interception. Jalen Anderson uh, had a great night, had a really good tackle, open field tackle. Um, and all, all those guys play great, um, come to work. Um, they prepare hard each week, and, and you can see it. They're having fun. That's the main thing. When they're out there, if it's practice or game, they're having fun, they're competing, and they're flying around. And that's – that's what it's all about, and that's why I, th- I think it's they're, they're they're different, they're special. It's a special group, and um, you know, re- really proud of them and what they did. I'll ask you the same answer, the same question I asked Will. When when a team, and it's nothing against the team you're playing, but there's a little pride in getting a shutout, isn't it? I mean, they they really don't want to give that those points up. I mean, it's kind of like a little mark on their uh, helmet there. Yeah. Um, you know, we we said I said all year. I feel like if we could co- score seventeen or more points in, in each game, that, that we, we'd win. Yeah. Um. And that, that's how confident, and that's what we think about our defense and what they do. Um. You know, and and yeah, it's defenses take they take pride in, in in shutouts, and and ours do. And to see them get one last night against a regional opponent, a, a in county team, was good. I, and I think it's a, a big game to kind of set things uh, for the playoff run here. And uh, you've got another one uh, next week, too. And uh, that's at Coffee County. That's a big one. And uh, that's a different place to play. I mean, it's a little bit different look. But uh, that's a big game. And you want to finish over 500 if you can. Those kind of things. There are they're always little steps and little uh, goals that you can go throughout the season in there yes um you don't want to enter the playoffs uh with the loss you know you want to you want to end on the season on a high note um i told them i told them last week you know we're we've got to keep winning each mm-hmm. and every week you know our, our next lot of losses we're, we're probably done we're, we're packing it up um so i think i think they accepted the challenge last week uh in practice and and did a, did a really good job but we traveled to coffee uh, Thursday night. It's going to be a, t- a tough environment. It's always tough. You hear about teams around here traveling to coffee and, and having difficult times. Um, so we on a short week, we got to be prepared and ready to play. It's definitely a different animal at Coffee County. But before we get to that, I want to mention a couple of – you mentioned the defense, and I appreciate you doing that because they – Overall, they had a great night. Uh, John Dregu uh, had five receptions for a team leading 66 yards and a TD. Uh, he was all over the place. Uh, but I've got to give kudos to Marcus Cameron last night. 15 of 16 for 188 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. And that, the big key there is like zero interceptions, I think, just as big as the touchdowns were. I, I do. I tell, I tell Marcus each and every week. If we have zero zero interceptions, I, f- I feel really good about what we can do on offense. Time all the time. If you don't like it, take off running. If we get a yard, I'm fine with it. As long as we don't get a turnover, you know, it it, it had to help us up. Um, so that that was huge. And I think he did a really good job this week studying the film, studying Rockville. Um, so him, 
the way he played last night, you know, seeing this is, I believe, is a six game starting. Um, I think you've seen him, seen him grow. Um, you know, la- last week was a little bit difficult for him, but uh, he he bounced back. You know, mm-hmm. that's that's what quarterbacks got to do. And he's a competitor. Um, he takes pride in what he's doing, and so we're really. Pr- uh, proud of him and his accomplishments and a lot of it is confidence too i mean that's got to be unbelievable confidence boost for him going into these next couple of games i mean that just alone the looking at his stats he can go you know i i, I did what i was supposed to do and yeah yeah and, and you know um i think that's been our achilles heel all years is throwing the ball and for us to throw for, throw for 188 yards is is huge and and hopefully it's giving him the confidence that we need at the at the right right time and right point of the season if you throw for 150 yards a game and you combine that with the running game you're you're probably going to win a game aren't you i would say so yeah yeah you know it's everything um you know i think our again our, our special teams plays well you know they, they blocked a the point in the second half um you know so i feel you know if, if we can you know have ball control uh not turn over the ball on offense um i feel feel really good about about our chances to win on friday nights I did want to say Grant Gardner. I feel I think he that poor guy felt snake bit because he got two couple of runs of twenty yards or more mm-hmm. and got called back for penalty. That's one thing I know you're not happy with. I I, I told him last night he's not going to be happy with that. But another night of a lot of penalties and and just the kind of nitpicky kind of things. You yeah, know? it was. Uh, you know, I felt like one of our receivers one time um, he was doing. I thought he was doing a great job blocking, but he threw his hands up. And when we told him, and we came to the sideline, anytime you do that. They're gonna think you're guilty, so just <laughs> yeah. keep, keep doing what you're doing. And if they throw the flag, they throw the flag. Um, you know, and you know, I never gonna we're never gonna blame the rest. We always say it's it's our fault. Um, you know, we we got to get better at our hand placement where we, we're placing our hands when we're blocking in the open field. Um, you know, and 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 we got it. I think one of them was blocking in the back. You know, you can't ever block anybody in the back. But you know. Moving forward, I told them we cannot have those type of penalties and expect to win on Friday night. Matt Kreisky's our guest. I'm talking football, and we're talking. Uh, uh, one, you were talking about uh, blocking the back. I hate that. I hate that violation worse than anything because I think the running back's already, or the runner is already pretty much established what he's going to do, and you're not not accomplishing anything. Is that is that right? It's fair to say. Yeah, uh, and the one we got for blocking the back, we were already about five eight yards down the field. Yeah. Uh, and almost looked like the lineman tripped and, and, and fell fell onto him. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I did like, you know, we, we did have those penalties and negative, but I did like in certain situations we did respond. Mm-hmm. Um, we just – we I didn't feel like we did that last week. Um, I felt we did this week. And, um, you know, that was good to see that we just didn't shut down. And, and after a negative play – come back with another negative you know yeah. we, made, we, we came back with some positives was able to keep the chains moving uh, and had some and had some good drives the uh i i, I thought the game plan you you all had a little trouble running the ball early in the game mm-hmm. but you went to the went to the air mm-hmm. and the air opened up the running game back for you too and it, without the and a couple of penalties you you probably had i know grant probably lost 60 yards rushing on, on a penalty on penalty plays but uh, that kind of opened up the running game for you on that. I thought that was a nice move there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and when that happens, you know, we got to be able to do both. Um, you know, and, and so being able to spread them out uh, and, and throw those quick throws to help Marcus out. And, and I thought our receivers did a good job getting yards after catch. Um, I believe it was uh, Mark James, uh, one catch. You know, he kind of sp- sp- spins out and he stays up and gets an extra – you know, eight to ten yards. Um, so he got him a touchdown last night. So it was, yards it was, after catch yes. were amazing last night. I yes. thought by all those receivers. Yeah, and I thought they did a really good, really good job uh, last night with that. And and you see that um, when we are able to get the ball in space to these guys, that they're able to make people miss and uh, create some big plays for us. All right, we're going to talk. Uh, we talked a little bit about Coffee County. They were stronger. I think they were doing. They're not playing as well as they did early in the year. Uh, but that's a team that you've got to watch. I mean, especially there. I mean, they they've got some they got some players. Yeah, they're they're big up front, both sides of the ball. Um, I think they're a physical team. They're just I feel like they're an old school, hard nosed football team that's going to come, um, you know, and hit you in the mouth. So you got to be prepared and ready for it. Um, you know, they got some good guys, um, both sides of the ball that play really hard and and compete. 
Um, you know, so get to work today, break them down, get get the game plan going, finalize it tomorrow, and, and get ready to get to, get to work because um, we cannot have a week off going into uh, the playoffs. You know, we we got one go. You know, I, I think I've said it on here a million times. Uh, was to get to the 11th game. We've got that. All right, now we've got to finish to hopefully stay in that third spot um, and, and get that second opponent in, in, that, in the Wilson County region. It was senior night last night, and I know you've not been there long, but mm. – I know you've got, I know you well enough to know you get really close to your guys and uh, there's a lot of seniors that that left not a whole lot but there's some seniors I know you're going to miss and I'm not going to ask you to name all of them but uh, what have they meant to you because those guys that are juniors when you came into a program they're really important in in doing things and getting your philosophy across um they've really bought in you yeah. know and to everything we've done from being on time in the weight room from doing the right things in the classroom um doing what i say the little things they've really bought in and doing the little things um right last night um our last touchdown was scored by Braden carter uh, he's a senior uh tailback uh you know he was uh been playing scout team quarterback for us all you're giving us a great look um, and so uh, I told him, I said, you deserve this opportunity. You deserve this chance. Um, he, he's, he's one kid that's, that's really grown and matured uh, since the times that, that since he's been with us. So to see him getting that end zone was, was bittersweet last night. Man, that uh, I'm telling you, yeah. I, I realized that he was a senior. Yeah. And I go, can you realize this kid, the last time he touches the ball, like, you know, if, if, they, if that was his last time, yeah. he scored a touchdown. Yeah, that's it's pretty a, awesome. It, it was really nice to see. And he had his whole family there cheering him on. So that was oh. great. Yeah, that's awesome. I love senior nights. Yes. That's uh, cheerleaders, too, all yeah. of them. You know, the band, that kind of thing. Big, big crowd at Blackman yeah, last night, too. Yeah, a great crowd. Yeah. Matt Kreisky, that's been our guest here of the Blackman Blaze, and he travels to Coffee County next week. Wish him luck. And this portion of the show is brought to you by JHA Company. That's Josh Houston and Associates. Jewelry, letter, jackets, yearbooks, graduation products, and more online at jhacompany.com. When we come back, I'm gone. But somebody else is going to come in. I think it's uh, Brian Barrett here on the Prentice Salsa Peating and Air Coach's Corner. First National Bank of Middle Tennessee. At First National Bank of Middle Tennessee, we show up and have been for 150 years. Let us show you how we do it. I'm John Dietrich, Senior Vice President and Commercial Lender at the Murfreesboro Gateway Office. Let me have the honor of helping you and your family achieve its financial dreams. I am a lifelong resident of this community dedicated to making it better. First National Bank of Middle Tennessee. We show up for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS 401715. Tennessee or